An exposed sandbar at Waikiki Beach has been getting a lot of attention lately. It's allowing beachgoers to get pretty far out with the water not even up to their waist. We wanted to know what caused this sandbar to form. Sarah Madison joins us now from Waikiki Beach, where she's got some answers. Sarah? Joe, I'm standing by the sandbar, and if you take a look behind me, you can't really see it right now because of the high tide, but notice the people standing up in the water. You can see how the water level goes up to their waist. That's where the sandbar is. Now, beach boys and ocean experts tell me this sandbar has been around for generations. Take a look at this video of when the tide was low, showing people on the sandbar. Sometimes when it's on a minus tide or really low, it looks more exposed than normal. An interesting sight, and we found out it happens every year. Dolan Eversole of the University of Hawaii Sea Grant College program tells me the sandbar forms during summer when the swells change. He says last year the sandbar was the largest it has ever been. It could be a function of the strong El Nino the summer before, and there was just a very strong signal of uh, westerly swells pushing through the area. Locals say you can see the sandbar appear during low tide, and it makes for good fun for beachgoers. They go out there and they like to play with their boogie boards or they take their kids, you know, it's kind of safe. The danger is if the sandbar does fall apart and there are holes in it, that's where you start to run into safety issues. We asked if the 2012 sand replenishment project had anything to do with the sandbar. Since the in infusion of more sand in the beach system in 2012, there's more sediment available to move around. Eversole is also part of the Waikiki Improvement Association and tells me there have been discussions of doing another sand replenishment project. Eversole says with the onset of the south swell, he hopes the sand will move back on the beach. Reporting live from Waikiki Beach, Sarah Madison, KHON2 News.